Hi, do you want to learn how to put together a powerful and wonderful slideshow like the one you're watching right now? And stay with me, I'll show you how. Hit on the like icon, the subscribe button, and click on the notification feature for more incredible tutorials like this. All right, let's get started. First, add the photos to your timeline and right click and change the duration to any size you want. I'm going to choose 1 to 20. Expand it. Then let's click on the first uh, picture photo. Make sure you deselect it. Then go to crop to fit and do the same to each of your photo in order to make the photo fold the screen. Then when you're done, next thing we're going to do, we're going to add some movement to it. Right click, go to crop and zoom, go to pan and zoom and expand the inner box. Make it wider so that the movement will be slow. So you right click and go to crop and zoom and you click on pan and zoom then you expand the inner box expand it don't make it too small because we want the movement to be slow just small movement so do the same to all the other photos Next, you go to effects and you look for square blur. Bring it down on top of all your images, expand it to, to cover all your images. That will make it, that will make the picture blur. And next, you go, you go back to our media. Then bring, bring down each of your picture and stack it in on top of each other. Make sure they're the same picture and fit the size. Make sure it fit the size. You adjust it to fit the size of the other one. One after the other. Bring them down and stack them on top of each other. Make sure the duration is the same. Drag and fix them the same. Do the same to all the other pictures. Now, when you're done, go through it and see how it is. It's okay. Now the next step, you click on the picture. Go to crop the feet just to make sure it aligned with the former one with, with the first one do the same to others it's expand the picture to full the screen instead of leaving blanks with by its side so next you click on the first picture then you resize it resize it yeah just like that you do the same to the other pictures. You click on them and you resize it on the, on the screen to make it smaller than the first one. Go through all your pictures, do the same to each of them. You click on the picture first, then you resize it. All right, when you're done with that, we're going to add a border to the inner picture. So go to effects, look for border, then drop, drop the border on each of the picture. And you can click on the picture and resize it. We're going to resize it to two. 
and you can change the color if you like I'm going to choose red and white and click OK click on the click on the uh, picture and copy the effects and paste it on each of the picture instead of doing it all over again one after the other so you see it will apply the effect to all of the pictures I think I may want to change the, uh, the color to black instead that's black and white the upper part will be black the lower part um, white so you can apply that to others too and next let's go back to effects now we'll go to motion and we're going to choose movement you can choose any one you like but i'm going to use this the sh shrink grow to shrink i think this is okay for me you can choose any movement any one you want so you copy and paste the effects to all the other ones affect all the other ones all right the next thing we're going to apply is transition you don't have to do it but to make it it all depends on you but i'm going to apply it anyway so you look for the one you want i'm going to add this so you pull it down one after the other you after applying the transition you click on the transition and reduce the the duration make it shorter it depends on what you want you make it shorter you do the same to others make sure the duration is is short enough so that it will not change the movement the motion which is earlier so you follow and do the same to others by clicking on the So let's see what we got. Here is the final product. Isn't it wonderful? Well, that's the end of the tutorial for today. If you want to learn more about femoral tricks, tips and techniques, make sure you click on the video on the screen now and the ones in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.